Between things like colds, flu, and indoor allergies, this is often the worst time of year for sinus infections. Oh, when it's chronic sinus, excuse me, sinus, I can't even say this. Sinusitis. This, Thank you very much. <laughs> Surgery is a solution when medications stop working. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says scientists are using 3D computer modeling to make delicate surgery much safer. That's right, Chris. It's sinusitis, by the way. There will be 37 million sinus infections this year. Antibiotics and steroid sprays work pretty well, but if you're getting three or four infections a year, it may be time to think about surgery. There's a lot of critical structures just millimeters from the sinuses. Here's a way to make it safer. For years, Brian Kirk has cooked dinner for his family, but missed out on all the savory smells that fill the kitchen. Brian had chronic sinus problems, and whether he was cooking, running, or sleeping, he struggled to breathe. It was pretty bad, and the doctor said, I, can't, I don't really know how you're able to breathe the way you do. Eventually, Brian underwent surgery to clear his sinuses, a procedure that takes place about every 40 seconds in the U.S. And while it's common, sinus surgery is often very complex. The sinuses are surrounded by the brain and the eyes, and so uh, you have to be very, very precise within millimeters. Though long-term complications of sinus surgery are rare, they can be severe and include loss of smell or taste, nerve damage, and empty nose syndrome, where the air passages are wide open, but patients constantly feel congested. Researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center are using 3D modeling to try and eliminate complications. Dr. Kai Zhao is using computerized simulations of nasal airflow so doctors can test the outcome of a patient's sinus surgery before stepping into the OR. Like playing a video game to remove some of the tissues and then we can uh, back compute what is this effect on the nasal airflow. We also use um, CT navigation which is like GPS for your head. It allows us to be within you know a fraction of a millimeter uh, in terms of accuracy. The team will also analyze 3D printed models of the patient's sinus cavity to give doctors even more detail before surgery because patients have to live with the results forever after. Now, sometimes things like 3D models are technology for technology's sake. So doctors at Ohio State are testing their pre-surgical models to see if they really do help doctors be more precise during operations and, of course, whether it improves the outcomes for the patient. That's the bottom line. This affects everyone. I know for me personally, yeah. nothing is worse. And I have had some of the worst sinus issues throughout the course of my life. We got a fix for you. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> right. and now I can pronounce it. I've that was my, my other problem. <laughs> I've got my little telescope right out here. Yeah, we'll fix it, you it up. It really yes. is. It's a nagging, like, all day oh. thing, and it just wanted to shake it off, and you can't. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's all bad. right. Dr. Max, yes. thank you.